Situated in the northeast of Derbyshire, Clown is a small town bordering between South Yorkshire and North Nottinghamshire. Clown, or Clune, as it is first mentioned in the Doomsday Book, derives its name from Clune, the name for a river in Celtic. Many changes have occurred during the past century. Many old buildings have been pulled down to make way for new structures. This is to accommodate the growing town. Mill Street is the centre of the village, still providing many essential supplies. It still retains its character despite the building of two major superstores. Every year Mill Street plays a key role in the Remembrance Sunday Parade. It is a time when everyone comes together to remember the fallen. The cenotaph itself was built in October 1919. Across the road is the old girls school, which has now become a village bar. A couple of years ago it hosted the reunion of the lower staff evacuees. The day was a great success and everyone had a wonderful time. We leave the centre of the village and head down Rectory Road. To the left is the former vicarage and to the right is part of the former mining college. In February 1931 it became known as the Mining and Technical Institute. In 1956 it became known as the Clown Technical College. Sadly, with the demise of the coal mining industry, most of the college was closed. Thankfully, one of the original buildings has been saved for restoration. The plans to build on the site are still yet unknown. Across the road is the Rectory House, first built in the 1880s. The annual garden parties held there were always well supported. Heading down Church Street, we soon come to St John the Baptist Church, or the All Saints as it was once known. Built in the 12th century in the reign of Stephen, it has seen many major alterations during the last century. It is a favourite to many people who favour the church in which they choose to marry. However, the church is not the oldest religious icon of the village. In the centre of a busy junction, the ancient cross at the centre of the village has stood for over 800 years. But in 2005 it was damaged in a car accident and underwent several stages of reconstruction. But thanks to the efforts of English Heritage, the Council and the History Society, the cross is now repaired, complete with lights and protective bollards. Eighteen eighty-seven saw Southgate Colliery open for the first time, bringing with it the arrival of the railways. Both railway lines came through the once small village until nineteen sixty-eight, when the stations were finally closed. The old tracks still remained until early on this year. Cut up into sections, the track was taken to Crestwell where it was finally dismantled. During its time it saw much railway traffic. The coal wagons from the local pits to the passenger trains and their trips to the coast. What remains of the line is now used mainly as a footpath for dog walkers. The 
The siding skate park resides on the former railway goods yard, serving the LNER railway. Hidden behind the trees and bushes, the railway station and tunnel still remains today. In its time, many trains passed through the station on a regular basis. Boone Lane was home to the Clown Secondary Modern School, which opened in 1939 as a girls only school. In 2009, the old school was closed and finally demolished in 2011. by the state-of-the-art Heritage High School. The new buildings had already been built on the school fields, which left the old school site ready to be cleared and become a new sports field. Heading down Rotherham Road, Howells Fork Dam, or locally known as Bump Mill Pond, is an idyllic place for fishing. Years ago, when winters were winters, the pond froze over, making it strong enough to skate on. The community centre may not be central of the village, but it still remains central to many of the residents and organisations. The health centre was recently built on the former playing fields. Ratchews on North Road opened almost 80 years ago by the late Walter Douglas Ratchew and is still very much in its 1920s splendour. Although Clown has gone through many changes over the years, it still retains its character. Its history is preserved and remembered thanks to the efforts of the local history society. To collect and protect Clown's history has become their motto, as they work hard to ensure that their proud history is always remembered as the town continues to change in this modern era.